look at that for a pre-match breakfast. We're to the train station now. I just got out of the shower, which is why my hair looks like this. I did actually forget to wake up from my alarm this morning. Newcastle, come on. I actually do quite like the Geordies. I do like the Newcastle fans. Obviously, they make a lot of noise and travel well. But when we uh, when we got smashed by them 4-0 earlier on in the season, they were very positive about my channel and about the video. Hopefully, we're going to win. Come on, the Villa. Service to... Right, we're at the station now and also guys I just want to take this moment to say thank you to you guys as we uh, started switching up the content we've hit all the like targets on all the videos recently uh, and I think we've also gained over like 400 subscribers in the last month and a half so um, thank you trying to get to 15k if you guys are new make sure you subscribe we're outside the whole end today for Aston Villa versus Newcastle United today we are here with a 12.30 kickoff at Villa Park it's been a very long time since we've had one of them really but today's an absolutely massive game we're playing Newcastle who are sitting third in the Premier League. Who would have thought that at the start of the season? They haven't lost in five games. We haven't lost in seven games. It's a big game. We're obviously sitting in sixth place. I think we're one point clear of Europe. Uh, Newcastle are three points clear in the top four. So I'm not sure I'd say it's going to be a hard game. We're on a really good run of four. Newcastle have got one of the best defences in the league. They smashed us 4-0 earlier on in the season. And it's going to be a tough game today. I can see a draw happening today. Two really good teams in form. I can see a draw. But I also think one team could nick it for a 2-1 win. I'm going to bat Villa and I'm going to go Ollie Watkins score to win 2-1. But you never know. Hopefully we get the win. It's a big game for us. We need to go a few points clear of Brighton and Brentford if we can. Uh, and Newcastle want to stay in the top four. So come on the Villa. Up the Villa. Come on. Newcastle fans outside Villa. Grandad today. Newcastle at home, what's going to happen? Tough, isn't it? Every time Newcastle come here, we beat them. That's how it works. That's my life's been, been like that. But they're yeah. like third or fourth in the league. They're doing well. It should be a good game, shouldn't it? Yeah. It'll, it'll tell us more about us, I think. How well we can compete with those teams up and around us. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Score Actually, prediction, score prediction. Uh, I'm looking for a draw, I think. Yeah. I hate that. I yeah. want to win. So I'm going to say two each. All right, we've got Adam here. Adam Pearson on YouTube. Big Newcastle vlogger. But Adam, today... You come down from Newcastle, what's just going to happen in the game? Well, let's see if for a second I wasn't a Newcastle fan. Honestly, this game, I think it's got a draw written all over it. Half 12 yeah. kick off, two teams are in form. I just got a few more cancer throughout all match long. But as a Newcastle fan, of course, I've been watching us this season, every single match. It's uh, been an incredible season. I'm yeah. really hoping we can get top four. You have to win matches like this one today in order to do so. Um, I mean, Newcastle, you look at the last five wins they've got in the row. Uh, Man U and Brentford are two very big wins. I know Aston Villa got four wins in the row as well. But Howard and Chelsea, who, let's be fair, have been rubbish this season. It's still a bunch of bottom half teams. I, I think this one will be quite a tough test for Villa. Probably the hardest yep. out of the five so far. Um, I'm going to back Newcastle to win 2 1 as a Newcastle fan. But I'm telling you now, this will be a hard match for both teams. And uh, ultimately, Newcastle obviously probably overachieving the season, but you've played really well. What, do you think you're going to get top four? What's going to happen at the end of the season? Well, uh, I mean, so far from what I've seen this season, I would say yes, the Castle are going to get top four because there's no reason to suggest why not because we've only lost three times. Yeah. Twice to Liverpool, once to Man City. Uh, form wise, we're consistently we've got the, the best defence in the league. We're, we're scoring, I've started to score a few more goals now, but I still think that's probably where we're lacking the most, not scoring enough goals in games. So um, I think now that we've got the win streak going, it's a good time to get it. Uh, Tottenham Bright, I think those two matches are the same Newcastle season, but I do fancy to get top four. Tottenham, I, I don't rate Tottenham to be honest. I don't know how they're still in the amongst the top four. I think it's just how good Harry Kane is. Yeah. But yeah, um, I do fancy to get top four. And honestly, I'm not a big bias saying that, but even as, let's see, I wasn't Newcastle fan. The way Newcastle played this season, I, I think they deserve top four. Fair enough, and uh, up the villa. But before we get to the stadium, make sure you guys smash a like on this video. If we can get 500 likes, that would be massively appreciated. I don't usually do this sort of thing, but I genuinely spend all of my money going to a villa home and away. So if you guys could just like the video, that would be very much appreciated. And if you are looking at yourself in the black screen right now and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe. Anyway, back to the video. All right, so I've been told I need to start reviewing food at football games. So today we've got chips and curry sauce at Villa Park. Thank you. Curry sauce is really good. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. That's really good. Watching for the pie. Steak pie. It's okay. Could you do a little bit more gravy, but it's okay. We've got coffee, we've got drinks, we've got these. 11 quid. Seems fair enough, doesn't it? Yeah. On the Villa. On the Villa. There we go. Coffee's beginning. It's been 10 years since Newcastle won it all apart, so I thought I could make it 11. 
the game. Kick off has begun. Big game. Big test there at Villa Park today. Newcastle. Come on, Villa. Come on. The first minute of the game. Come on, the Villa. Chance. 25 minutes in, we were playing some great football. Buendia, Watkins, Ramsey playing really well. Newcastle haven't really had a proper, proper chance, so let's keep this up and we should be okay. We're doing really well. What a performance. Arnie Watkins, go, 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 go. Atmosphere has been great in Villa Park, 40 minutes into the game. I'm still playing some really good football. I'm playing better than Newcastle. This is really good. Really good. Oh! Oh! Last time, what a first half here at Villa Park. When Dia and McGinn have completely, completely controlled the midfield, uh, all over Newcastle's midfield. Um, Moreno down the left hand side is absolutely fantastic. What a player that he is and what a player that we've got. And we're playing really well. Watkins, Ramsey are making some good passes between them and we're looking good. I think what says Newcastle, I think, are slowly growing into the game. They've had a few counter attacks, especially Trippier down the right hand side. But in general, they've been really quiet. They've not really had a clear chance. And I think if we play like that in the second half, we should be winning. We should be winning 3 or 4 0 already. Ramsey but we hit the post twice, Ramsey should have scored. So yeah, what a first half. Let's keep it going. Come on the villa. Newcastle have been alright, but we've just been a lot, lot better. We've looked like the better team. Come on. Come on! It's the 
18 minutes in, this is probably their best team performance I've seen in three or four years at Villa. Honestly, every single player has made it real today. Watkins, Dendonka, Moreno, McGinn, everyone. Time, what are we saying? I don't know. I can't believe it to be honest. Yeah. I hate Newcastle, that's just personal yeah. personal preference really, but I was expecting a tight game, but <laughs> we <laughs> unreal, we weren't it? Them. Unreal. We unreal. Them. And we're getting Europe. Yes we are now. We are. Yeah. Come, come on the villa. 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 Come on. Full time here at Villa Park. Like I say, that performance every single day. I've only lost to City and Liverpool all season, and we've been playing for that one too. Come on, Liverpool! We're just absolutely playing for that one. This team, what a team! Ollie Watkins, Wendy, Moreno, Ashley Young, Harry Martinez. Come on, Come on, Liverpool! Wow, I've never seen this player like that ever. This team is something special. If you guys enjoy, smash a like, subscribe if you're new. What a game. Great for next week. Massive game. Come on, Lorena. Come on, Lorena. Come on, Lorena.